Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Ali Baba really does have a very inflated opinion of himself, doesn't he? He goes off to COP28, uninvited, has a conversation with President Erdogan, which he shouldn't have done, and invites Erdogan to come to Scotland. Ali Baba is merely a regional governor. He's not the head of state, he's not the head of government, he's nothing. And when you have Erdogan, who is a head of state, going anywhere. It must be a head of state to head of state visit. It's not just a little holiday. He doesn't just pop over to see a friend. He really is a narcissist, isn't he? He thinks he's bestriding the world stage and that he's influential and he's not. And he really does need to be taken down a peg or two. Erdogan, of course, is a murderer. He's signed the death warrants of thousands, if not tens of thousands, of the Kurdish peoples. Indeed, this, one, this last week, there's been an attack on the Kurds. And yet Hamza seems to think it's OK to invite this murderer to Scotland, where he claims he will talk, uh, of course, about uh, human rights. Which is strange because he didn't talk about them to the Chinese. And they're the ones building concentration camps to herd and round up and keep all the Muslims. It's a very odd state of affairs. But, of course, it isn't going to happen. It's all waffle and he isn't going to come because Erdogan doesn't even know who Hamza Yousaf is. Let's have a look. So the old Grand Mufti himself defends inviting the Turkish President Erdogan to Scotland and denies asking about getting family out of Gaza. Well, he's denying it now that he's questioned. Just the other day, his wife said, yes, they did. So was she lying then or is he lying now? Well, it's probably him. Let's face it, he is a liar. He's known for it. But of course, why he's denying it now, even though everyone knows he did, is because it looks bad, because he realised, oh, I shouldn't have done this. And he doesn't want to face an inquiry by the security services for having conversations like this outside of what the, uh, the UK government's official stance is with regards to Turkey. He really does need to be booted out on security grounds and possibly tried for treason. We don't know what information this man is handing out. He needs to have people with him at all times, or better still, jailed. The First Minister invited the Turkish President to visit Scotland when he met him at the COP28 and claimed that he would raise human rights violations with him if he did so. And we know he won't because that would require a pair of balls and that's something badly lacking in Hamza Yousaf's pants. Yousaf defended inviting the controversial Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, to Scotland as he denied claims that he discussed helping his relatives flee Gaza during their meeting at COP28, even though we already know he did. The man, because if you're going to lie, it's a basic rule, isn't it? Surely it's not just me. If you're going to lie, get a good memory and stick to the lie. Don't say one thing, then something else, and then a third thing to someone else, and then confuse yourself. What was the lie I was supposed to be? Was that the lie or was that the lie? I've forgotten. Here's the thing. Tell the truth and you don't have to worry about your memory. Uh, anyway, a readout from the summit was published by the Scottish Government, which revealed the First Minister urged his counterpart to visit the country next time he's in the UK. This is despite the human rights abuses which the Turkish politician has been accused of, including killing Kurds. Just this week, they launched an attack on Kurds and more were killed. It's tens of thousands in total. Why? Because Erdogan is a hard, a hard, a hardline Islamist. Um, Turkey was always quite secular. It was a secular Muslim country. Um, but Erdogan is a hardline militant uh, Muslim who wants to clamp down and turn it more or less into a complete Islamic state. Um, but uh, of course, he knows that he needs the uh, the tourism. And so he, he has to allow the drinking and the alcohol in the tourism areas, but he doesn't like it. Uh, Yousaf was forced to defend this invite on, at Holyrood on Thursday, where he also faced accusations that the discussions prompted Turkey to agree to take his wife's family in as refugees from Gaza. Nadia El Nakla revealed her sister-in-law and her children were now in Turkey and that her brother-in-law remains in Israel. Um, her brother-in-law, not her brother anymore. Notice how that, that, that narrative has changed. It was always her brother, her brother, her brother, and now it's her brother-in-law. Uh, and it's all very funny. And, and, and these, these relatives, 
Funny how he has this conversation with Erdogan and all of a sudden, 750,000 pounds later, these lot are going across into Turkey. Isn't that strange? And yet he said he didn't have that conversation. I cry, bullshit. I cry, you're a liar, Hamza Yusuf. Yet again, you're paying public money to murdering bastards, the blood money, to get your family out. Why? Do you think that the public is your personal bank? Because apparently you do. Uh, he said, next time I see he is in the UK, why not come up to Scotland, he said. NATO is a Tur uh, Turkey sorry, is a NATO ally. Well, that's strange. How can Turkey be a NATO ally and you can invite them when your, uh, your previous leader, Sturgeon, said Trump wouldn't be welcome in Scotland and he was also a NATO ally? Do we have different degrees of NATO ally now? Or is it only ones that like... Oh, you know, I like Hamza Yousaf that count. Uh, he said, uh, the UK government regularly engages with Turkey as a NATO ally and is an important regional player. Engages with, but is not friendly towards and has very, very distant kind of um, diplomatic conduct and uh, contact. Turkey is not uh, recognised as being what is called a safe or friendly state. Not from a security point of view. Uh, he said, why would Scotland not seek to engage with a NATO ally? And of course, with someone we seek to do businesses. No, what you mean is, why would a Scotland not seek to engage with an Islamic country so that we can help make Scotland the Islamic Republic of Caledonia? That's his aim, because it is, after all, far too white. Journalists then asked him whether he would raise concerns about human rights violations in Turkey if Erdogan does come north of the border, to which he responded, yes nose grows because no he won't he hasn't got the spine he's a jellyfish he said i would raise human rights yes he wouldn't he, he, there's no way of course he won't load of bollocks isn't it he says i tend to do wherever i have meetings with international leaders you shouldn't be having meetings with international leaders you're not a national leader you're a regional governor uh, he said, I should say we do that in a way that recognizes we're on a human rights journey as are other countries well, that's fine. Just don't do trade with people who have human rights violations. That's the quickest way of doing it. You can li quite literally screw China over tomorrow if the, if the ruling was any country that has human rights violations that we don't find offensive, we're banning trade. Done. Done. Ch China goes boom overnight. If the West did that, if the West said, unless China opens up, does this, this, this and this, we're not trading with you. China's screwed. Uh, anyway, he denied claims put to him by journalists that the meeting had been about getting his relatives out of Gaza. He lied. He said he denied. Let's change that word denied to lied. Uh, his wife met with the president's wife, Emma Erdogan, during a first ladies and spouses of leaders. She's neither. She's not a first lady, nor is she the spouse of a leader. Why is she going to this meeting? She's a counsellor who wants people to talk to lampposts. And she happens to be married to a regional governor. Um... And Miss Al Miss El Nakla confirming Turkey had provided a haven to her family who were struck in Gaza at probably her request. The minutes disclosed by the government detailed the invitation, which was extended to Erdogan, and notes the pair discussed the ongoing Israeli Hamas war, a war which uh, Hamza Yusuf has definitely picked his side, has he not? And you can tell that from all he does. He is, of course, an anti-Semitic, Jew-hating, racist bastard. We know that from the things he said. He doesn't like white people. He doesn't like Jews. Of course he doesn't. He's Muslim. They hate the Jews. Uh, and he's quite fond of Hamas. You know, he doesn't mind that Jewish babies are murdered. It's all, you know, the same for him. It's what he's planning here, after all, allegedly. Uh, during the meeting, the First Minister also reiterated his calls for an immediate ceasefire in Israel. Why? Have is, has Hamas handed over all the uh, hostages yet? No? There you go. That isn't going to happen, is it? If Hamas want this to stop, hand over the hostages. And what they said to Gaza was, the people of Gaza, if you want us to stop, hand over all of the Hamas terrorists. No one's done any of this yet. So they must want it to continue. It's their choice. Uh, the FM said that the attacks on the October 7 were unacceptable. <laughs> unacceptable is not castigation. What was he saying was unacceptable? That they stopped, that they didn't kill enough Jews, that wasn't acceptable? What? Just saying it's unacceptable without a condition doesn't mean anything. 
He called for an immediate ceasefire as too many innocent civilians, he means Muslims, had already been killed in Gaza. Um, not a mention of all the Israeli dead, of course. No, 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 doesn't mention them. Uh, boys down the mosque wouldn't like that one, would they? Uh, AFM, he mentioned that the war not only destroys lives and communities, but also the environment and biodiversity. So does building, uh, building big bird choppers, but that doesn't stop you, does it? And he said, what could be done to resolve the situation? Well, condoms. Here's the interesting thing. Another, sorry, this is a tangent, but this is relevant. This is really relevant. Israel closed the border with Gaza. And now the Gazans are saying, oh, we're starving, we're starving. Look at us. Oh, poor us, we're starving. Gaza has got a border with Egypt, another Muslim country. Why is Egypt not putting food and supplies up that way? Because they're not. And so the Gazans are starving because the Muslim country next door of Egypt doesn't want to feed them. And the reason is Egypt doesn't like the Gazans. Egypt doesn't like the Palestinians. Egypt says the Palestinians are dangerous and can't be trusted. I think Egypt is as complicit in this as Israel. Israel and Egypt are kind of on the same side. It's very, very weird. Because if it was truly humanity, Egypt would just let them out, wouldn't they? But they're not. Anyway, Scottish Lib around this off. Scottish Lib Dem leader, this has gone on too long, hasn't it? Scottish Lib Dem leader Alex Cole Hamilton said, the First Minister has been very vocal about the situation in the Middle East. I hope he'll be equally vocal about President Erdogan's oppression of his Kurdish minority. But he won't. He won't at all. I shall um, stop there and come up because it's gone on far too long. I could keep going. It's all a pipe dream, of course. Erdogan won't be allowed anywhere near Hamza Yousaf. Erdogan won't be coming to Britain anytime soon. And Hamza Yousaf doesn't have the power to invite him. It's a head of state thing. And he's nowhere near head of state. And thankfully, never will be. He'll soon be gone and he'll soon be done. And never raising his head again. Probably stay on the back benches though. Because he needs to get some kind of income. Who the hell is going to employ him? Anyway, I'll stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Please share the video. And let's leave Hamza Yousaf in his little delusional world where he thinks leaders will come running to his door. What a sad man. Bye.